For this problem, the directions say, find the average rate of change of f of x on the interval. Your answer will be an expression involving a. So if you remember a couple of things, when you're looking at the idea of average rate of change, a more familiar word would be slope. So we're just finding the slope between 2 and a. So it is going to be a little bit more difficult because of the variable. But let's go ahead and write our slope formula and I'm going to use it using function notation. So your slope or average rate of change would be the formula f of x1 minus f of x2 all over x1 minus x2. And again, that's similar to your slope. We're just going to use the function notation because of the nature of this question. And so we're going to plug in what we know. I'm going to call this to be x1 and this to be x2 because this is an interval, not an ordered pair. So if we're going to have to plug in a little bit. If x1 is equal to 2, then that means f of 2 would be equal to 8 times 2 squared minus 2. So that would be 8 times 4 minus 2. So 32 minus 2, so 30. So that means f of x1 is equal to 30. Let's do the same thing with a, just so we can get our data and then plug that back in. So x2 is equal to a, so I'm going to say f of a would be equal to 8a squared minus 2. And really I can't do much with that. Um, and so that's going to be my f of x2. That will be 8a squared minus 2. Now I did that information so I can come back up here to this formula and plug it in. So f of x1 we've identified as 30 minus parentheses 8a squared minus 2 all over x1 which is 2 minus x2 which is a. Now from this point we just need to clean things up, do a little bit of algebra cleanup. So I'm going to distribute this negative throughout so it gives me 30 minus 8a squared plus 2 all over 2 minus a. I'm going to put that 30 and that 2 together so it gives me 32 minus 8a squared all over 2 minus a. And then let's factor in 8 out of the top. So it gives me 4 minus 2a squared, oh, just 1a squared, all over 2 minus a. Now the top is the difference of 2 squares, so we can factor that into 2 minus a over 2 plus a, all over 2 minus a. So you can see that these two minus a's are going to cancel to give you 8 times 2 plus a. And to finish that out, that gives me 16 plus 8a. So definitely a little bit tricky because that variable a and you had to factor with the difference of two squares. And be careful with your combining of like terms because if you don't combine those like terms correctly, um, you're going to not have sufficient information in order to factor. So hope this helps.